This is number one dude bringing you another video. This time it's another loadout, but not airsoft. It's nerf. I am going to be showing you what I play with in HVZ any other nerf game. I play airsoft and nerf. I play nerf more because I can and airsoft less. I play airsoft at Kemzu Airsoft, link in the description below. But let me not tell you about that. I you are here to watch the video of Nerf. Now let's get into it. First, I am wearing, I'm using 18 round mags, totally intentional for that to happen, 18 round mags. I'm using four of them, one, two, three, four, or am I? Five 18 round mags. That allows me to hold a ton of rounds. We should throw that down. This is my homemade double mag. I used cardboard, scotch tape, and duct tape. I like this because I can hold on to it better than normal max. Here's my primer, the Demolisher, 2 in 1. I love this gun. I can shoot people easily. I'm accurate. I'm deadly. This is the 25 round Rampage drop mag. I used to run another this in there and then two 18 round mags. And then I started thinking. If I just put this here, and then an eight and a 25 round mag, if I just drop it, I'm out. I just put my dump out, which I'll get to in a second. I could easily get so many more darts, like seven. This is a lot in the game, in nerf, in a death situation. So I decided to go like this. Okay, uh, this is the old end strike, not the end strike line of vest. This has a zipper. Not Velcro, a sword area instead of anything back there, and two utility pouches. I'm not using either one of those pouches. But what I am using, other than the mags, these bullets, the main gun, and a sidearm, which is this, the Elite Fire Strike. Um, I've killed a lot of people with this. I'm buying a new holster before, which I'm going to do a review on. It's a narrow base holster. I'll link in link in the description below to their website. They were awesome stuff. Great mag holders, great pistol holders, pistol holsters, sorry. And they have the Fire Strike Elite, obviously, since I'm buying a holster from them. And they also have the Hammer Shot holster. My brother loves that, and he's buying that as well. Well, let me keep going. Let me not ramble. I have also have a two-point sling, which I've set up like a one-point sling. I put this on it, and then put them both on here. So, I can just quickly... Attach this, kill as many zombies as I want, and then as soon as I'm done, I can just put this back on, do whatever I need. I have both hands free. So, as I have a battle belt, it is very helpful to have a battle belt. You can have extra mags from narrow base, so link in the description. Narrow base mags, holders, you can have holsters, which I have, you can have dump pouches, you can have everything. But what I have is pretty unique. I have a sword if you haven't noticed. In my homemade sheath, I also have a mag holder with four extra darts right here. Plus two extra six round mags. Altogether, every bullet I have together is around a hundred and sixty hundred and sixty three. I meant to do that. Hundred and sixty three. So, I have plenty of bullets to lay down fire. The one thing I am worried about is I've run out of bullets because I'm the gunner in my group. But, let's not ramble about that. I also have a dump house from Cond Condor Outdoor. It's an airsoft thing. I know, I know what you think. You're using airsoft in your trailer! But, seriously, I need the dump pouch. And I couldn't just go around with a plastic bag on my belt. What'd I do? Also... I love this setup. I haven't modified this. I might in the future. I don't want to hurt any zombies. They don't wear eye protection. That's one reason why I haven't modded it. Another, I don't want to break it. Also, I'm going to be filming the HVZ game. I'm going to, so if you stay tuned, and you can see that as well. It is so cool. I've seen videos of it, and I want to make my own about it. Thank you for watching my loadout for HVC. Hope you 
guys come back again I have a link to my other video down below um, about my airsoft loadout so thank you guys for watching as always this is number one dude signing off